Fellow YouTubers, Corey here. Uh, yeah, so uh, here goes uh, some reading. Pen to paper or a word. When a word comes to mind, what's the first thing that you think of? Word. Maybe it's the word lexicon or the word bank of the human vocabulary. Maybe it's a verb, a noun, or a pronoun. What about a paragraph or a sentence? I write about this for some serious yet pertinent and important uh, reasons. Having received a postcard some years back that had read, and I quote, uh, a quote on it that had read, Think of mind, not with mind. It has been something that has stuck with me in my endeavors and studies since. I do, however, recognize that on first sight, it may seem like a base concept. Wait, don't think with my mind? Why would anyone do that? This quote, however, is not denoting an ability to be flexible in thought. When a person is made up of both masculine and feminine uh, characteristics, it is rather interesting to note that, statistically speaking, a man is more likely to become more rigid in thought than a female, this merely being fact. In layman terms, a female is usually able to learn new tricks. I find it important to ask why. I'll take you back to my original question. What comes to mind when the word word is mentioned? In studying, it is important to always remember that well-forged neural pathways have been forged before. In a very roundabout way, if you're reading this or listening to this, there's a chance you've already once before uh, through other neural pathways. Yes, you. As weird or bizarre as this may sound, when someone speaks on either the subject of spirit, soul, mind, body, or whatever uh, other label an individual may want to place on it is value, we are transmitting vibrations through both space and time that can either give life or take it away. That's where the saying comes from, be careful with your words, it originates from it's not a form of, a form of self-censorship, but rather a recognition that our words are more powerful than that most would want to recognize uh, at face value. So make sure to speak life.